When we look to the stars and attempt to explore the cosmos, whether it be via telescopic engineering or with the naked eye, the concept of space and the never-ending multitude of galaxies and mysterious events that occur every second is often difficult to comprehend. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is believed to have approximately 400 billion stars within its galactic center and has fascinated scientists, astronomers, as well as the general public for millennia. The great debate on how the commonly known Big Bang occurred, as well as the continuous advancements in space exploration, interplanetary travel, and baffling discoveries that continuously surprise the most experienced of experts, it is no wonder that space is such a fascinating topic. Never has the concept regarding the outer regions of Earth been so exciting and worthy of funding and investigation from various entities, especially with our own planet suffering so badly due to the effects of climate change and the threats of nuclear war. In today's video, we will study an astronomical theory, which has become known in scientific circles as the Big Rip, a speculative scenario that focuses on the rapid expansion of space that may cause the universe to tear itself apart. So, what does this theory mean when we try to understand our universe's history and potential fate? Is it possible for a never-ending astrological plane, with all of its stars, atoms, and subatomic particles, to physically push itself to the ultimate limit, thus causing its own demise? And what do experts think of this potential suicide mission? Join us as we attempt to find out. Scientists from years gone by, such as the great Albert Einstein, managed to conclude and prove that distant galaxies and their illumination appear much redder in color, the further they are in space in terms of their distance. Through methods such as general relativity, we can determine that this is caused by the expansion of space, which is ever growing and constantly developing. This expansion of the universe has recently been called into question with regards to its eventual destruction and demise in what is being called the Big Rip. Depending on its final density, the theory goes that an apocalyptic event will occur and change everything we know about the cosmos forever, and is the focus for many scientists and astronomers in the modern study of space. An easy analogy to best describe the event is to liken it to the rubber band. When stretched too far and beyond its resistive limit, the rubber band snaps and causes it to fire in random directions. In this case, the universe is the rubber band. Over the past few decades, there has been amazing progress from observatories across the globe by astronomers that calculate and document how the universe is expanding and how galaxies are steadily growing apart from each other at an increasing rate. Physicists have studied alternative causes for this colossal effect other than the Big Bang and refer to it as dark energy or repulsive gravity. These forces are comprised within a group of energy fields that constitute various elements within the universe, 68% of which is made up of this dark energy as well as 27% of dark matter. The remaining elements are made up of normal matter, neutrinos, and radiation. It is predicted that in approximately 20 to 22 billion years from now, we will have a relatively conclusive calculation regarding the total mass of the universe. Thus determining how the expansion may alter or destroy the course of its development. If this value is extremely high, then the hypothesis states that the universe will cave in upon itself, a cataclysmic event which is currently being called the Big Crunch. If, due to the denseness of the universe, the acceleration continues indefinitely, then the process of objects being ripped apart would commence and the so-called Big Rip will unfold. It would begin with the largest objects in the universe, 
with the drifting of segregated galaxies being destroyed as well as the multiple stellar systems contained within them disappearing from their internal galactic centers. Next up would be the stars, which would expand away from the vast array of galaxies, and then the planets, which would also be stripped away from their nearby star and moon systems. Diminishing even further, various celestial bodies will explode and vanish as they become the next victim of the rip effect, with molecules and atoms constantly splitting, therefore reducing the universe to a bare nothingness. Unable to cope with the pressure of the expansion and explosions occurring within it, scientists predict that the universe itself would become not unlike that of the original insignificant emptiness that was here before the Big Bang occurred, where even the concept of time grinds to a halt. This prediction, however, implies that the size of the observable universe and the cosmological event horizon is constantly shrinking. Physicists have measured that when the size of the horizon becomes smaller than any particular structure, no amount of synergy can occur between the most remote parts of the structure, therefore the structure itself is consequently, by definition, ripped apart. So what can we make of all this, you may ask? The process in which the universe as we know it to be now and perceive it to be in the future is effectively under threat from itself, a suicide mission some may call it. As we try to understand and fathom the mere thought of complete annihilation of the universe and everything in it, as well as the religious, scientific, and personal belief systems that we have here on Earth, we look to the experts for guidance and potential answers. Thankfully, the early reports of an astronomical Armageddon or Big Rip are unlikely due to the singularity of occurrences based on hypothetical matter or phantom energy with dubious physical properties. Based on the aforementioned Big Crunch event, the current data proposed by physicists and astronomers show that the universe's calculative density is too high and not sufficient enough for this rupture to occur. To try and gauge a substance's progression and or transformation over the course of a long period of time within the universe, a scientific equation has been created solely for this purpose and has become known as an equation of state or simply referred to as W. The W of any cosmological constant is negative one, the same value which has been assigned to dark energy. The equation of state parameter W is the ratio between the dark energy pressure and its energy density. If negative one is less than W, which is less than zero, then the expansion of the universe tends to hasten, but the dark energy will dissipate over time, and therefore the big rip does not happen. Phantom energy has W less than negative one, which means that its density increases as the universe expands. Physicist Robert Caldwell of Dartmouth College, as well as his esteemed colleagues, took it upon themselves to investigate and analyze the prospect of the value of W being less than negative one a possibility if the speed of energy were to exceed the speed of light. However, as of yet, nothing is as fast as the speed of light in the universe that we currently know of. In their 2003 paper, Caldwell and his associates questioned the sequential string of events in order for the universe to be ripped apart. Dark energy, rather than staying constant, would have to accelerate much faster than the speed of light for the self-destruction to happen. Their conclusive forecast found that the data supported values of W less than negative one for dark energy, which they called phantom dark energy. Unlike dark energy, it will not stay constant. Instead, it will grow stronger as the universe expands. A case was made that if it had to occur, the big rip would come to pass approximately 22 billion years from now. However, observations of the galaxy cluster speeds by the Chandra X-ray Observatory seem to suggest the value of W is approximately negative 0.99, meaning the Big Rip will not happen. Another hypothesis detailing a second factor on the Big Rip axiom was presented by Marcelo Disconzi of Vanderbilt University in Tennessee back in 2015. This measurement pertains to the cohesion and fusion of the universe, as well as the relationship to its resistance towards expansion or contraction. 
Disconzi, who is a well-respected associate professor of mathematics, along with fellow physics professors Thomas Kephart and Robert Scherer, came to a conclusive verdict that the universe's viscosity is low enough for it to expand to an infinite size. This, along with the link to dark energy and its continuous increase in strength, the professor believes that, eventually, dark energy will overtake the force of gravity. The three men studied cosmological viscosity by assessing the movements and actions of fluids that arise in supernova and neutron stars, as well as when they navigate close to the speed of light. Despite competition from various scientific models and investigations into similar calculative actions, the trio of experts' evidence suggests that the expansion of our universe will eventually become absolute and ever eternal. Disconzi credits his theory to the works and proposals made by French mathematician André Lignerowitz during the 1850s. So, with all of this talk of death, doom, and destruction, is there any positives that we can take away from the so-called Big Rip? As discussed, if the rupture and ripping of atoms, stars, and galaxies within the universe were to occur in the next 20 billion years or so, the universe itself would be reduced to its most basic forms and capacity, which would have been in the case before the Big Bang took place. Quark-gluon plasma, or called QGP for short, or quark soup, is an interacting localized congregation of quarks and gluons at local kinetic, close to the chemical abundance equilibrium. It has been discussed and proposed that the quark-gluon plasma of the early universe would be very similar to that which is created during the final stages of the Big Rip event. One contrasting variation being that the quark soup, which was generated at the start of the Big Bang, was extremely hot and dense, where the Big Rip would be exceedingly cold and sparse. Another distinction in reference to the Big Bang theory is the fact that all forms of matter and energy in the universe were supposedly compressed into a small measurement of time and space. However, the Big Rip would generate the opposite effect by dispersing out over trillions of light years across the astronomical plane. Could it be that a new ignition of multiple universes, complete with freshly born galaxies, stars, and planets, can materialize from this reverse form of astronomical discharge, and therefore salvage everything and anything we have ever come to know? As we have come to learn, cosmic inflation would abolish all of the pre-existing matter and energy from the universe. Over the course of time, any residue energy would somehow manifest into particles, antiparticles, and radiation, leading to a rejuvenated universe, or another Big Bang. If indeed the Big Rip happens, it should, in theory, shred all the preceding matter apart, resulting in an empty universe with a colossal amount of energy, which would be hereditary to space itself, thus giving a very small window for a very new beginning. Unfortunately, it'll probably be about 20 billion years before we find out. As we continue to progress and expand our knowledge on how our universe came to be, we must now look to the future as to how it may, in fact, end. Though many are critical of the hypothetical theories that have been presented to us by leading physicists, astronomers, and scientists, it is worth taking a moment to appreciate the calculative methods and technologies needed to comprehend what we are potentially dealing with. It may not mean anything to most people at this point in time. However, one day, the purpose of our universe and of life itself may be answered as we start all over again from scratch. <laughs>